All right, Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Ka Halal, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. I want to give double honor to my teachers, the apostles, and the elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. Psalms 40 and verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. And that book that our King David is speaking of is the scriptures. Now, our King David was not speaking of himself when he said, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. In the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, which was on our King David, in the spirit he was speaking of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. Because we know that our King David was not written throughout the volume of the book. Okay? Now, when you go into that word volume, in the Strong's H4039, the definition says, roll. And we all know that the prophet Ezekiel was commanded to eat the roll. Alright? And then go preach to the nation of Israel. Now, to eat the roll is to eat the book because the book represents the roll or the roll represents the book and the book represents the scriptures. How do you eat the scriptures? By reading and understanding the scriptures. That's to eat the roll or to eat the book, which is to spiritually digest the book and then go teach the people what you have digested. It says, book which is the scriptures writings and we all know that Yahweh Shai comes within the writings of the books all right and what is found within the books the words okay so Yahweh Shai is the word which is the writings of the book revelation 19 bags that up revelation 19 and 13 and he which is Yahweh Shai, was clothed with, with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. So that is speaking of who? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, when it speaks about the writings or the words. Now, the scriptures from Genesis to Exodus to First Chronicles to Psalms, Proverbs, all right, the book of Baruch, the book of St. Matthews, all the way down to the book of Revelation, are different volumes of the scriptures. All right? These different volumes has been collected and has been put together. All right? Because the word Bible is the word Biblios, which means a collection of books. And this is the Holy Bible. Holy means true or pure. So this is the Holy Bible, the true collection of books, which is a true collection of volumes that makes up one book which is the scriptures, okay, the holy scriptures, and Yahweh Shai comes within the volume of the holy scriptures, which is different books that is collected together to make the Bible, all right, and Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, comes in the volume of those books. Now, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and 31 tells us, which is the law that was given unto our first spiritual king, Moses, to give unto the children of Israel, all right? Deuteronomy 32 and 31, it says, For their rock is not as our rock. And who is that rock that is like none other rock? Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, even our enemies themselves being judged. So this is our king, Moses, Okay, speaking of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, in the law that was given unto him from the Most High to give unto the children of Israel. Now, in the book of St. Matthew, which is also a volume of the book, the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and 17, all right, and let's do this in the red letter. So we can see these are the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. It says, St. Matthew 5 and 17, Think not that I am come to destroy the law 
And we just read the law of our King Moses, all right, that was given unto him by the Most High, which is the law of the Most High. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So Yahweh Shai is saying, I came to the earth not to destroy what the law says or what the prophets prophesied. I have came to fulfill what the law said and what the prophets prophesied about, which is me. All right. I am that fulfillment. Okay. I am the one that's going to fill the cup all the way up so it can be completed. I am the one that's going to make the words of the most high. All right. Which is found in the law and the prophets. All right. I am going to fulfill that inspiration that the most high put upon those men to talk about. I am that fulfillment of that. Okay. So let's go to the book of Deuteronomy 18, which is the law of the Most High that was given unto Moses to give unto the children of Israel. It says Deuteronomy 18 and 18, and it reads, I will raise them up a prophet, and that prophet is speaking of who? Yahweh Shai, from among their brethren, meaning Yahweh Shai was going to come from amongst the children of Israel, as the book of Hebrews 7 and 14 tells us. And it reads, For it is evident, it is made clear, that our Lord, Yahweh Shai, sprang out of Judah. And who would be considered the tribe of Judah here in these modern times? The so-called Negroes. All right? So Yahweh Shai was a dark-skinned man that came out of the tribe of Judah, which makes him a so-called modern-day Negro, of which tribe Moses spake, spake nothing concerning priesthood, all right? So I brought that out to show you what Deuteronomy 18 and 18 was speaking of when it says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, meaning he will be coming out of the nation of Israel and none other nation, all right? Revelation 5 and... Verse 5, it says, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed, meaning he have carried off the victory, to open the book, all right, to open the seals of the scriptures, the mysteries of the scriptures that had been hidden, all right, since the fathers fell asleep, and to loose the seven seals thereof, and that's perfection, to loose uh, that perfection, of those things that was hid from men, all right? The, the complete perfection, that's why it says seven seals, the complete perfection of vision, all right? Unto men that the Most High have given unto him, all right? Now, I brought that out to show you that our Lord and Savior, all right, as Deuteronomy 18 and 18 tells us again, I will rise them up a prophet from among their brethren. So that should let you know that Yahweh Shai come from uh, his brethren, which is, the fellow Israelites, all right? He come from the head tribe, which is the tribe of Judah, like unto thee, see? So he have, the Most High have raised up a prophet, all right, like unto us, and will put my words in his mouth. Because when Yahweh Shai came to the earth, he didn't speak his own words. He spoke what the Father had already scripted for him to say, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him, see? It says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. All right. So it says, but the prophet which shall pursue, presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. All right, so these other prophets, all right, are what? False prophets. And Yahweh Shai is that promised prophet or that um, preordained prophet that was spoken of, all right, or that prophet that was prophesied to come in the law, all right, here in Deuteronomy 18, starting at the 18th verse, okay? That's why Yahweh Shai said, I have not come to destroy but to fulfill the law in the prophets, all right? The book of Exodus 23, and this is also what? 
the law that the Most High gave unto our first spiritual king, Moses, to give unto us. Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy 33 and verse 20. And this is Yahweh Shah being found in the volumes of the book. It says, Behold, I sent an angel before thee. And that angel is speaking of Yahweh Shah. Because Yahweh Shah has, has went before us to keep thee in the way. That's why Yahweh Shah came to the earth. All right. To what? Keep us in the way. And what is that way? The old path. All right. The, the straight and narrow that leads to a kingdom. All right. And that also represents what? A way represents a path, which is. Uh, this doctrine or a form of doctrine and we have the purest form of the doctrine see it says and to bring thee into the place which i have prepared so that straight and narrow path all right that way that doctrine all right is going to lead to what the kingdom of heaven which is the place that the most i have prepared for us okay verse 21 it says beware of him all right, it says, uh, uh, warning, warning, all right, because Yahweh Shai is going to come and bring turmoil and destruction. And in the midst of that, he's also going to bring what? Salvation. So the scripture says, beware of him. Why? Because the Most High have put all things in his hand. All powers have been given to our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. That's why we should beware of him and obey his voice. That's right, obey his voice. See that? Be a, a, a fellow follower or a Lord, a law uh, follower of Yahweh Shai. All right? Be, be obedient to the words of Yahweh Shai. And what did Yahweh Shai say? If you love me, feed my sheep. It says, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not. That's right. Provoke him not. That's why the scripture tells us in Psalms 2 and verse 12, it says, Kiss the son. Who is the son? Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son of the Most High. Kiss the son. And how do we uh, uh, show a form of kissing the son? By showing that we love him. And a form of that is showing uh, 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 the sheep the way. All right? Or feeding the sheep. It says, kiss the son lest he be angry. And we don't want Yahweh Shai to be angry or be angry at us. Why? Because that is our salvation. That's the, our, our ticket out of here. It says, and ye perish from the way. See, ye perish from the way. See, that, that way that the Most High has set up through Yahweh Shai that we should follow. That light, that straight and narrow. All right? This 100% this doctrine that leads to the kingdom of heaven. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. That's right. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. All right, because if we put our trust, all right, in that rock, all right, we shall not be confounded. See, because Yahweh Shai is that rock that we should trust in. See that? Back in Exodus 23, in verse 21, beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. That's right. The name of the Most High is in Yahweh Shai. All right. The book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 says, Who being in the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. That's right. Yahweh Shai did that. Uh, the book of Hebrews chapter 7 tells us that. Chapter 7 and, and verse 27. Because only by the blood of Yahweh Shai our sins have been purged out. Hebrews 7 and 27. It says, Who needed not daily, Yahweh Shai, as those high priests, to offer up sacrifices. Because the high priests did this on a continual basis. All right? Because the sins was never permanently done away with. It says, who needed not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice. So Yahweh Shai didn't need to do this uh, on a continual basis. To keep going up on the cross. To keep shedding his blood. It says first for his own sins. So Yahweh Shai placed himself upon the cross 
once, first for his own sins, meaning the things that he have done in his past life, such as our forefather Adam, all right, King Solomon, and then for the peoples, all right, for the elect, all right, first for the elect, because he gave himself up to the cross, shed his blood for the elect, therefore Israel as a whole can be saved in the kingdom for this he did once. See, Yahweh Shah did this once when he offered up himself. See that? Back to Hebrews 1 and verse 4. Being made so much better than the angels after he have done this, as he have by inheritance, see, by inheritance, being the only begotten son of the Most High, being heir to the throne, obtained a more excellent name then they, and what is that name? Yah Hawashah. Yah meaning he, Hawashah means deliverers or saves, which is a nomen omen, all right, which means name prediction. But the Most High's name is within Yah Hawashah name, Yah Hawashah, all right? Verse 5, for unto which of the angels did he at any time, thou art Salakia. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. See, and again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. It says, and again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he said, and let all the angels of the Most High worship him. All right? And that's who? Yahweh Shai. See that? Hebrews Salakia, Philippians, chapter 2, and verse 9, it says, let's start at verse 8, it says, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, see, that's Yahweh Shai, giving himself up to the cross once, for his sins and for our sins, even to the death of the cross, this is the point, verse 9, Wherefore the Most High also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. See that? Verse 10. And, and at that name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. See that? So Yahweh Shai is found in the volume of the scriptures. All right? The different books in the scriptures. All right, and he have received that name above all names. Okay, so let's jump back to Exodus 23 and I'm going to read 21 again. It says, Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. See that? And we just got a few scriptures to show you. That Yahweh Shah name is magnified above all names. Verse 22. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thine adversaries. All right. And that's what we want. All right. We want Yahweh Yahweh Shah to stand for us. All right. And be an enemy to our enemies. All right. And that number one enemy is the so-called modern-day white race, beginning with their top-tier elites. See that? And our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, as the scripture says in Isaiah 11, in verse 1, it says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, all right? And Jesse is the, the father of our King David, and a branch... See that? And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And who is that branch? Yahweh Shai. All right? He is that righteous branch. St. John 15, and verse 1, it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. See that? Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. All right? So Yahweh Shai is that true branch. And every branch that stems from Yahweh Shai, all right, and that, that abides in Yahweh Shai is going to bring forth fruit, and Yahweh Shai is going to purge that branch that bring forth fruit, that it bring forth more fruit. See that? But you can only do that if you are in the true branch. You're in the vine. See that? Which is the branch. Isaiah 11 and 1 again. And there shall come forth out of 
out, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. See that? It says, And the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And he shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. So Yahweh Shah is that perfect servant. All right. All of these scriptures, which are the volumes of the book, all right, Yahweh Shai is written within, all right? Psalms 40 and 7 again, and it reads, Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. So we just got a few examples of Yahweh Shai being written within the volume of the book, which is the scriptures. All right, call Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Quidash. Lord willing, I pray that this lesson was edifying. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. DTA, Wa, Abba, Babal.